Got a huge bite. He missed it. Stacy got one. Nice. <laughs> hey, get over here. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, <laughs> quick release. You see him? He was like crawling on land. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> quick release. Did you get there, huh? Yeah. Another one jumped. Now they're feeding. <laughs> That's a nice one. That was Stacy's fish. All right, James, throw him back. See you, bud. Oh, the deer's over there? Deer and a baby deer. Yeah, the baby fawns are out. What? Oh my god, it's so big. Yeah, it's a two pounder. Woo! Okay. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's fat. Nice one. <laughs> you get a picture. It's a real nice one. Fat. <laughs> Where'd the deer go? In the woods? Yeah, it was a mother and a baby. Nice bass. So it's like he's like a pound and three quarters. He's got some weight on him. Look at that belly. He's been eating good. All right, buddy. See ya. I'm gonna try a wacky worm now. <laughs> I had two bites on the whopper plopper, but that was it. I've been telling you to use it. Yeah, but I like to use different baits. Okay. I like trying different baits to see which ones work, which ones don't. It's more challenging that way as a fisherman anyway. Got one. Got one. He's fighting hard. Come on, buddy. He's fighting hard, guys. Nice. Hey, easy. Easy, buddy. You are feisty. All right, buddy. Thanks for hitting my uh, green wacky worm. I see ya. It was feisty. He hit right offshore, too. It was a good fight for a little fish. What is that? A trout. It's a dead trout here, guys. Rainbow trout. They must have stocked it. Must be too hot for them. A lot of these trout don't survive in these stocked ponds when it gets really hot like today. They will not survive. Yep, there's a dead rainbow trout. Just too hot. They like cold water. Not enough oxygen. Bass can thrive in hot water. Not trout. Got one. Look at this, guys. I got a bluegill on the torpedo. Nice one. An aggressive bluegill. Look at that, guys. On the torpedo. Look at this. Get a picture. One last view of this bluegill, guys. On top water, on the torpedo. Show you guys the release. See you, bud. Yep, there he goes. See ya. All right. Top water fish. I don't care that it was a bluegill. It was on top water. That's impressive. He was a savage. When they wake on it, I know a fish is looking at it. 
See that? Got him. Oh, he's fighting hard. Did you see that, James? Did you see the wake? I told you. I said I saw the wake under it, and he slammed it. Look. Ooh. That's two on top water. Little guy. I'm a torpedo, guys. Number two. Not going to get a picture of him. Go get bigger, buddy. See ya. The next day. Well, it's the next morning, guys. 6.30 a.m. It's about 56 degrees. Gonna warm up to about 84. A little cool right now. No wind. A few minutes later. Got him. On the torpedo. Torpedo fish. Hit it three times. Wanted to go non-weedless to get a better hook set. And I got it. Just a little junior baby one. It's all right. Still a top water fish. Still a top water fish. Show you guys the release. All right, buddy, I'll see you. Oh, there he goes. Couldn't wait to get back in the water. That was funny. All right, see if we can get another one. It's always nice catching your first fish in the morning. Twelve seconds later. Got him. Two fish in four minutes. Another little one. They're loving this torpedo. No big ones, but this is still fun. That's two fish in like four casts. Come here, buddy. He's, a, he's bigger than the other one. Real healthy looking fish. That's two in a row and like four casts. Show you guys the release. All right, buddy, I'll see you. Yep, there he goes. All right, let's see if we can get number three here on the torpedo. The beaver was swimming around over there by the log and I casted the uh, rebel frog and it landed like five feet from the beaver, scared the heck out of him. He smacked his tail against the water and like went under and took off. It was funny. Scared the heck out of him. It's a good thing I didn't hook him. The one beaver here is big. He's like 65 pounds. minutes later totally choked this guys booyah pad crasher junior with this frog look at that he choked it I got him right over here under this tray I cast it right along shore he slammed it and hook him and I'll throw him back not a giant but it's a top water fish I'll take it that's three this morning Yeah, we this frog. Oh, 
All right, guys, got it out. Let me throw this guy back on the topwater frog. See you later, bud. Yep, oh, there he goes. See ya. Got him. Got him right over here. Right over here under this tree I got him. Slammed it. First cast over there. Landed three this morning and lost about eight. See if we can get another one. What's up, Mr. Bullfrog? He's hiding right next to me. Got one, guys. Get over here. I put the uh, wacky worm back on. What's up, buddy? Nice. All right, little uh, junior. Show you guys the release. See ya. All right, when I say dink, this is the king of dinks. Look at this thing. The worm is the same size as the fish, if not longer. The worm is bigger than the fish. Two casts later, guys. Was he hungry or what? He'd be perfect for an aquarium. Look at this guy. Look at this little dink. All right, little baby. Let you go. Go eat something smaller, will you? Whoops. Yep, there he goes. Jumped out of my hand. I'm telling you, it's a dink fest this morning. Well, the dink fest continues. Just can't escape it. Put the torpedo back on. First cast under this tray. This little dink was waiting. He slammed it. Nothing but dinks. These are the smallest bass I've caught in forever. What I catch about six of them. All right, let me unhook this guy and throw him back. Crazy. Three days later. 5.43 a.m. Very early. It's July 3rd, 2019. It's going to be another hot one today. It's going to be near 90. It's 68 right now. It's uh, 5.45 a.m. Going to head over to uh, do some topwater fishing. Going to see if they're going to be biting early this morning. Let's see. Going to head up to the beaver pond and see if I can get some fish, all right? I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. Should be good conditions for topwater right now. Very, very early. Let me try this first corner first. And then I'll walk all the way down there towards the middle and towards the other end. Oh yeah, water's nice and calm. No wind. See if anybody's biting. Oh, so awake. Stacy got me another frog, another Booyah pad crasher. This is the regular one. It's a lot bigger than the junior. This one's green and yellow. Hey, bigger the frog, bigger the bass, right? Let's see if I get one on this. There's definitely some giants in here that I have not caught, that I've lost. It's a lot of wakes over here. A lot of weeds, a lot of reeds over here. Some open water out there. Water's still high here. Had some more thunderstorms last night. It rained heavily for like an hour. So much rain the last couple months. It's been crazy. All right. See if I get one on this big green and yellow booyah frog. Here we go. First cast. Oh, 
This frog is a lot bigger, a lot bigger. They don't want it. Might just be too big. Just don't want it. Let me downsize. It's not all weeds over here. Let me try the torpedo. If you're not getting a, a bite, even early morning when they should be biting, try downsizing the bait and you have a better chance of getting a fish or getting some strikes. So they feel like it's a smaller profile so it's an easier meal. They can fit it in their mouth better. All right, let's do that. Already got the torpedo rigged up. My other pole. Very finesse, very subtle, very small profile. Non-weedless, but looks more like a bug than a frog anyway. All right, let's see if I get one on the torpedo. Here we go. Very early morning now, they should be biting. And you see that? I had a big blow up right in front of me, guys. Did you see that? Right in front of me. Scared me. See if I get him to bite again. You see that? I downsized and right in front of me, five feet, got a big blow up. Wasn't even expecting it. Seconds later. Got him. Two casts later, I told you. He's fighting hard. It's a little one, but he slammed it. I told you. Oh, this is a perfect football shape. Look at this. He's stocky for a little bass. I told you, right in front of me. Downsizing the lure worked. They weren't hitting the big frog. Put the torpedo on. Slammed it right away. Had a big blow up and then two casts later I got him. He is a real healthy fish. He's not big. Perfectly football shaped. Real healthy looking bass. Let me get a photo and I'll throw him back. Very aggressive strike. Slammed it. Right in front of me. I love the early morning top water bite. In the summertime. Nothing else like it. All right, buddy. Let you go. He was aggressive. It's going to be fun to catch when he's big. Show you guys the release. See you, bud. Yep, there he goes. See ya. All right. Oh, I had another one, guys. He missed it. Second I hit the water. Second I hit the water. Missed it again. There we go. Now I got him. Two fish. Three minutes. Feels like a better one. Come here. Yep, he's a better one. Definitely. Come here, buddy. Now you guys know why the tiny torpedo is my favorite top water lure. The results don't lie. This one's got a lot of black on the top. Must have been buried in the weeds away from the sunlight. It's very dark. I'm gonna call this one the stallion. Like my buddy in Florida. Look how dark he is on top, guys. Looks like a little stallion. Top water torpedo. You get a picture. Nice little bass. Second I hit the water, right out there we hit it. Oh, something just jumped over here. Slam this thing. 
Look at all three trebles on the top of his mouth. Nice little chunk. Show you guys the release. See ya, bud. See ya. All right, that's two fish on the torpedo. In a couple of minutes, see if we can get number three. This torpedo is such a small profile. You know, they they either think it's a it's a bug or it's a real small frog. Easy meal. Five minutes later. Got one, guys. Another one. It didn't even twitch it yet. It was just sitting there and he slammed it. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's feisty. Another small one. Come here. It's number three. Within 12 minutes, I'll take it. Another football shaped one. Perfectly shaped football. Real healthy bass in here. Both sets of trebles in him. He slammed it. I casted it back there. And it hit the water. And I waited for the rings to go away and he slammed it. I didn't even twitch it. Whoa. Nope, quick release. He was mad, he jumped right out of my hands. It's all right. Got a photo of the other ones. It's three bass on the torpedo in like 12 minutes. That was great. I didn't even twitch it. It hit the water, rings went away after five seconds and he hit it. He wanted that. Let's see if we can get number four. Perfectly shaped football. He fought pretty good for a small bass. Very aggressive. I like catching big fish. Most fishermen do, but like I said before, if the little ones fight very aggressive, it's still a lot of fun. Sometimes for top water, the smaller fish strike more aggressively than the bigger ones. All right, gonna give top water a rest for now. Change it up. Gonna use a wacky worm. Sweet potato pie. I did great on this a few days ago. Let's see if they want this color here. low light conditions now because it's after sunrise so the, the bright yellow and red colors should stand out you want to use lighter colors when it's uh, low light conditions got one. Oh, we got off first cast Did you see that oh he, he, oh he got off he got off in the weeds the weeds out here in front of me broke him off First cast with this sweet potato pie worm. Very first cast with it. Let's see if I get another one. Another one, guys. Two casts later. Oh, I got this one. Come here, buddy. Fish number four. Come here. He's fighting hard. Come here. Another nice little football. I may not leave this spot. I didn't even go to the middle yet, the other corner. I've been at this very first corner the whole time I've been here for a half hour. Four fish. Four fish in a half hour. Three on top water. One on the uh, sweet potato pie wacky worm by Shrike King. They are active this morning. They are hungry. They love this color. Love it. Four fish in a half hour. 
All right, buddy, I'll see you. Nope, there he goes. All right. Let's see if we can get fish number five here. Move down a little bit. Cut two more little ones on the wacky worm. I don't want it to get too repetitive with the small ones. So I put the uh, torpedo back on. I'm gonna keep moving down. I'm gonna fish all the way down the shoreline to the other corner. So see if we can get a bigger one here. I caught six fish in about 45 minutes. All right, I'm back where I started. I went all the way down there, caught one more small one at the other end on the torpedo. That's seven for this morning. In uh, about an hour and 50 minutes, almost two hours. But uh, big ones aren't biting, not sure why. Let me uh, try the first spot here again, come full circle. See if I can get a couple more fish before I get out of here. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I caught seven fish this morning at this beaver pond. And last couple days, I went over to the church pond and back to the beaver pond. Caught a lot of fish on top water on the Senko. You know, Stacy caught a couple of fish. You know, we had a good time. Even caught a, uh, I even caught a bluegill on the torpedo over at the church pond. That was pretty cool. He was a savage. You know, so it was another good couple days of fishing here. You know, like I said, summer's in full swing. The bass are biting, the water's warm. The temperatures are hot. You know, now that we're in July, so, you know, I look forward to a lot more good fishing all summer. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one, all right? Have a good one, guys. Yeah.